everyone, this is going to be the tarot forecast for Aries for the month of July 2024. Uh, this can apply if you're an Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, as well as North Node. So be sure to check out the other signs in case this reading does not resonate. Also, do keep in mind this is a general re reading, so not all messages may resonate. If you'd like to book a reading with me, you can definitely drop me a message on Facebook or email. Both the links are in the description box below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So I'm going to pull out a couple of more cards and then I'm going to start the reading for you, Aries. What do we have for Aries for the month of July? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, as well as North Node. Okay. What else for Aries? Okay. So I'm going to tell you the cards that I'm getting here. The first one is the Strength card. The second one is the World. The third one is the Lovers. The next one is the King of Cups. So Aries, I feel like a new chapter is starting in your life or at least an old chapter is definitely ending. And I feel like this is a permanent ending for you Aries because the World card definitely signifies permanent endings. Um, you could be in a relationship with a any one of the fixed signs so that could be taurus scorpio leo or aquarius or if you aren't in a relationship with any one of these signs you could be in a relationship with them uh, with somebody like that very soon because i'm also seeing the strength card here and that is a leo card um so you know if this is a romantic relationship then yes something new is about to start for you an old relationship would have ended and a new one is starting or the way I'm seeing it is you could have been in a relationship with one of the fixed signs right so it could have been Aries uh, sorry it could have been Leo uh, Aquarius Scorpio Taurus and you're about to enter into a relationship with someone new so I feel like this is past energy for some reason because I'm seeing the lovers card right and the lovers card has to do with Gemini energy it also has to do with you know divinely timed uh, relationships that have been guided uh, and sent to you these are like fated connections and the lovers is also a Gemini card so I feel like a new relationship is about to start for you Aries possibly with someone uh, who is either a Gemini Sun or who has very strong Gemini energy in their chart so it could be a lot of planets in Gemini or just embodying the Gemini archetype like somebody very curious very um, you know very lively very communicative that sort of energy and for some reason sorry for some reason I feel like the strength card is coming up here you know if this wasn't a relationship with a Leo person it definitely the relationship that you had ended it definitely took everything out of you because the strength card definitely has to do with uh, you know facing your inner demons um really taking a lot of resolve on your part to even end the end the relationship so you may have had to go through a lot aries even just to end the relationship is what i'm seeing here um i'm also seeing the king of cups here which is interesting like we have a lot of fixed sign energy in the world card we also have the strength card and we have the king of cups which is scorpio energy so what i'm feeling here is you know if you're about to start with uh, someone new like a relationship with someone new it could be a leo it could be a gemini it could be even a scorpio person like i said before it doesn't have to be like a sun sign in gemini leo or scorpio they could just have a lot of planets in these signs or just embodying the energy of these uh, zodiac signs so definitely keep a watch for that um i will do a clarification on the strength card so what is the strength card for aries okay so i have the ace of cups as a clarifier for the strength card and i have justice as another clarifier so i feel like this was a long drawn battle for some reason maybe a legal custody because i'm also seeing the justice card here um, so this could have been a legal separation if you guys were married or something like that I don't know it's just coming up with uh, some legal ramifications the ace of cups is definitely about victory especially an emotional victory so that's what I said like the strength card it it would have probably taken a lot out of you Aries to even get rid of this relationship or you know move on with your life um, so there was definitely some kind of legal issue involved here um, 
or just quite literally it could have been a libra person in your life also because justice has to do with the libra card as well uh libra sign as well and basically what i'm seeing here is you had to go through a lot in order to break up with this person and after that is when you're seeing the world card which is like this permanent ending it's like a clean break from the past and something new is emerging which is the lovers card which is gemini or just a new romantic relationship which is much more lighthearted is what i'm feeling because i feel like in the past with the the relationship that you were in aries i feel like it was very like it it had a lot of drama it had a lot of chaos there was just a lot of turmoil and um maybe a lot of uh, visits to the court like i said a lot of legal issues had to be sorted out for you to even end this relationship and move on but i feel like this new relationship that's coming in your life it's uh, somebody who is going to bring in a lot of fresh dose of energy like this person has is very lively they're very energetic and they have like a youthful spirit because gemini is you know the energy of youth and so they do carry that energy with them so they will bring you a lot of um respite after what you've been through in the past like this new person they're going to be lively they're going to bring in a lot of fresh energy into your life so that's that's like a good sign for me what i'm seeing here i do want to do a clarification on this world card so what is this world card for aries what do, what do they need to know okay yeah so i'm seeing the five of pentacles as a clarifier for the world card and i'm seeing the six of pentacles in reverse as a clarifier so what i feel here is maybe aries you were in that relationship and while you were there like in the past relationship you felt very unappreciated because the five of pentacles is this energy of feeling left out you know being taken for granted not feeling included uh being left out in the cold that kind of energy and maybe you felt that way when you were in this relationship maybe you felt unappreciated like uh, you never felt valued as a partner so i feel like that was what was in the relationship for you also i feel like maybe you gave too much of your time <coughs> sorry time energy maybe even resources to this person because six of pentacles in the upright position is about being generous but also keeping a balance right but in the reverse it means sort of going overboard maybe giving way too much of your time way too much of your energy you know your love nurturing all of that because aries uh you know you are known to be quite generous like you are a fire sign and you have a clean heart you don't hold grudges like that so when you love someone you really give it everything um and you're a generous person in general so i feel like maybe you give too much to this person and you were left feeling very depleted like the five of pentacles is this energy of feeling left out in the cold very uh, un unvalued unappre unappreciated that's that's maybe what you felt in the past relationship i want to clarify the lovers card what is this lovers card for aries what do they need to know what do they need to know what's the lovers card okay so i'm getting the nine of swords as a clarifier I feel like this is the end of your worries. I feel like this new like I said before this new person is going to bring in a lot of lively fresh energy into your life. Maybe in the past you had a lot of anxiety, a lot of sleepless nights, restlessness, that kind of thing, Aries. And so now it's like an end of that cycle of that toxic cycle. A new chapter is about to begin. This new person in your life is going to bring in a lot of happiness and just like a nice youthful vibe to the relationship which I feel like you're really missing. and maybe you were just feeling very um weighed down by things in the past and you really need that kind of lifting up energy right now what about the king of cups i want to do a clarification for the king of cups what is this king of cups for aries what do we need to know so let me see yeah i'm seeing seven of swords here as a clarifier for the king of cups um if this is a person like a scorpio energy or a person in your life who has scorpio energy you may be a little bit suspicious of them for some reason like you may feel like this person has some kind of ulterior motive or the, you know what you see is not what you get maybe because in the past you've been betrayed or you felt hurt by the the last relationship so maybe it's like remnant energy that you're carrying through into this new relationship but i would say don't let it um, don't let it destroy something good that could happen like take it at face value sometimes you do need to do that um if this person doesn't have any red flags 
then I would say give them a chance. Don't just dismiss them, Aries. Right? So that's what I have for you, Aries, for the month of July 2024. If you like this reading, give it a thumbs up. Your likes help my videos stay relevant and also motivate me to post more content for you. Uh, leave in a comment. Uh, drop me a message if you'd like a reading. You can connect with me on Facebook or email. And I'll get back to you soon. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Bye-bye.